just how much do all the things weigh? Well, with lockdown on our hands, on everyone's hands, uh, I have been thinking a lot about how much all the viruses would weigh if you tried to weigh them all. How many would there be? I've seen a couple of people already talking about in the chat, well, viruses are so small, right? And they are, they can fit through the threads in a face mask. They're microscopic, they're unbelievably tiny and maniacal little evolutionary machines that hijack your DNA to replicate themselves like evil nanomachines. But how many are there in total? If you were to take all the viruses on the planet Earth and weigh them all together, how much would it be? You can take a guess in the chat if you want to. Would it be the weight of a bowling ball, a full-size human, an elephant, or perhaps something more? So you're now looking at a study uh, from the journal PNAS. I really think they should change the name because I'm childish. Anyway, you're looking <laughs> at a study from the journal PNAS. Hey, it's the name of the journal. And in it, they went through and they, catalog they cataloged the total amount of biomass in the ecosphere that is the planet Earth. And how they did that was uh, use very good guesstimates of all the tonnage. So what the, the figures here you're seeing are gigatons of carbon. They use this because carbon is... Uh, associated with all living things and what's it's what makes something organic and it's just easier to uh, total that up instead of you know all the other things that make that might make up a living thing so if you're looking at this here what do we see well we see that obviously plants make up the vast majority of the carbon of the biomass on earth and you can see here all the animals go into this breakout now Notice that for a second. All of the animals, all of them, right there. Those are all the plants, most of which are terrestrial, and those are all the animals, and the majority uh, of their mass is found in, uh, found in the oceans, the study found. Now, let's look at this breakout even further. There's a lot of mollusks. There's an awful lot of arthropods. There's a lot of fish, of course, but look way down in the bottom right corner there. Humans at 0.06 gigatons of carbon. So you're multiplying the kilogrammo by, you know, a, a trillion or something like that. A billion times a ton, which is a thousand kilograms. So a trillion kilogrammo. So I just watched John Wick. I can't help it. So all the humans are there. Uh, they are outweighed by all of the livestock and all of the fish. Notice, though, that uh, ecologically speaking, Wild mammals have it kind of rough when they come up uh, as a comparison with humans. All the humans easily outweigh all of the wild mammals put together. All the deer, all the bison, all the heavy things, we outweigh them all. Now, what you may not have picked up on yet is the, fe uh, the figure right above my head. Viruses. 0.2 gigatons of carbon. So, if you're putting two and two together here, as you might be, there are many times more viruses by weight than all of the humans weigh. So think about that. More than, more than twice, you know, because that's not even point one. So it, there's more than twice the number of of uh, kilograms of viruses, viruses, these microscopic little horror shows than there are for all of humans, all 7 billion of us put together, weighing it around, you know, 70 kilograms or so on average, if you include all the children. <gasps> These are figures that I know. But if you weighed all of the viruses, they vastly outweigh all of the people. And I think this is a good uh, way to kind of reframe your perspective of humans' place in the biosphere. Out of all the animals, they're a, they're a very small fraction, and all the animals are a very small fraction of all the biomass on Earth. Plants are more, there's a lot, a lot more bacteria, more fungi, more protists, more archaea. So if you weighed all the viruses, there would be 0.2 billion tons of viruses which if you multiply it by three is 
to get it out of the tons factor, you would get 200, you would get 200 billion kilograms. Whew! Now that's, that's enough to make you sneeze. That was a bad transition. Welcome to Office Hours.